Hi everyone, welcome to video number 7 of our series OpenStat Tutorial for Beginners on Being Civil. In the previous videos, we have already covered how to get the selected beams, how to get the total number of beams, nodes from STAT to Excel. In this video, we will extract all the member numbers of this STAT file to this Excel. So let's start coding. So both Excel and STAT is open go to the developer tab in excel and click on visual basic i have already created a basic outline of our openstat code so we will start writing our code in between these lines so the first step is to declare variables we need two variables number one is the beam count that is a long time variable that will store the member count of the stat model and the other one is the all beams it is a long array type variable that will store the member numbers so to get beam count you have to use this openstat function dot geometry dot get member count so after getting the member count or beam count you have to redimension your all beams array so redeem all beams beam count minus one as long so you got the length of your all beams array now you have to use another open start function that will assign all the member numbers to this all beams array so this dot geometry dot get beam list function will assign the member numbers to this all beams array so we have done with our coding let's run this code step by step and keep watching this locals window so beam count is now value is zero when we run this line you it uh, it's get the value of 95 this means the total member count of this stat is 95 after redimensioning it you see all the elements of this array has no value or zero value after running this line it will get all the member numbers let's run it you see it gets all the member numbers so it's done it's time to print all these values of all beams array to this excel sheet for this i am using a very simple for loop this one it is a very simple for loop and we are done let's assign this uh, macro to this uh, button so just click on this you see all the beam numbers are in the excel sheet so that's all i hope you find this video helpful if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel for more content thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video